depression is almost like a parasite in which you know it's controlling you and, and your thoughts and stuff. I certainly didn't know what was happening. Um, I just experienced some kind of feeling and, and all of a sudden I've been thrown into this world I didn't, I didn't know existed. I'm Joe, I'm 26 and I'm a personal trainer. I had a friend uh, who was my boxing trainer. He died in 2011 and then my granddad died a month later. That's when you go downhill quick, um, when it's just one thing after the other, just hitting. Imagine you just keep running and someone just keeps tripping you up. I joined the military when I was 19. I don't think I was mature enough to understand I was sort of a boy in a man's world. And yeah, it kind of started there. Um, I'd go back and I'd, I'd sort of just start crying for no reason. Uh, it got pretty bad and that's when sort of self-harming started. Didn't feel alive, didn't feel happiness, didn't feel sad and sort of just went downhill. I wasn't particularly close to this person um, but I rang her. All of a sudden um, her and my corporal turned up at my room and he eventually convinced me to go to the mental health care on the base. Um, started getting therapy from there. Yeah. When I got towards the end of my military career, I was, I was starting to improve in terms of mental health. That's when, I, that's when I started to really get back on track. And I'd just sit down and I'd just do sketches, I'd just draw. Played guitar since I was like 11. Um, and then I discovered obstacle course racing and, and I was using these as, as methods of looking forward to something, getting myself out there, planning on doing something. I had a mental health practitioner for like my entire time of depression throughout and um, w without, without her help I would, have, I, would have, I would have crumbled pretty quickly. She had a way with words that sort of were very, very easy for me to answer and open up to um, and I don't think anybody untrained would know how to do that. It can stop someone getting to that, that point of despair. Certainly growing up. I, I was never told about depression. I was never told about mental health. I think it was an avoided subject for, for whatever reason. I think because of the awareness now, more people are coming out about it. Because of that, it's not gonna be enough. Highly skilled um, mental health practitioners available um, and these, these wait lists are gonna be huge. Um, and some people just don't have that kind of time. If you could go to someone who's got the cash qualification um, and you know they're going to know what they're talking about and you know they're going to empathise with you, sympathise with you, um, it's, it's going to make them a lot more comfortable to approach. Looking back, it's, it's a bit weird. Now I feel like I've got a bit of life in me. Um, I feel like people care. Um, I like myself and I love myself, which is the biggest thing, um, hardest thing to do when you're coming from there, because um, you, you, are, you are your own worst enemy.